Hello, good morning, my dear grade 6 students. Today is April 9, the third week of our ICT distance learning. And for today, we're going to discuss about flowchart and algorithm. And I'm going to give you um, examples of so you could clearly understand what a flowchart and algorithm is. Let me, you could read it in your end as I show you the link here, the the slide here, a flowchart is a diagram that represents an algorithm and shows the steps in their correct order. The diagram gives a clear step-by-step -step solution to a problem. So that is a flowchart. There is a diagram that I'm going to show you. And also, on the other hand, the algorithm. Algori what is an algorithm? An algorithm is a process or a set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations especially by a computer now I'm going to have you uh, read the flowchart symbols here it is first you have oval this is the oval for you to be able to start a flowchart it should start with an oval and when you have to finish on a flowchart diagram it should also end with an oval symbol now, there is, of course, in a flowchart diagram, it is interconnected by arrows. So these arrows are connectors. And there's diamond. We, we need to use the diamond uh, representation for us to be able to show in the flowchart diagram whether we are to, when we are to do branching or we are to make decisions, whether it's a yes or a no, something like that. So we need a diamond for that decision making. And then the parallelogram, it's for the input and output. Okay, if we are to do step one, step two, it's an input. And then uh, the last thing, uh, almost the last thing we need to do, there should be an output. And then you have to finish again with, with as I said, with a, with a start and end symbol, which is an oval. And then there is a process, The pros, I mean the process is, is for rectangle and uh, it's represented by a rectangle and the parallelogram is for the input and output, okay? So please be very uh, particular with, with the flowchart symbols. Now I'm going to show you uh, an example here. I have here an example. So if you want to go to a supermarket, you have to leave home then you have to check the time if you are to check the time it's an input right so it's represented by a parallelogram and then you are to ask yourself what time are you going to leave so in that case you are to make a decision are you going to leave before 8 a.m if you are to leave before 8 8 a.m you could put here if yes then you have to take a walk if you are not going to leave before 8 a.m that means it's a no then you have to ride a car so this one it's a no it's uh it's a no if you don't want to ride a car if you don't want to leave before 8 a.m it's, it's a no and then you have to reach the hypermarket you could reach the hypermarket that's the end so basically that's it now i have here a link Let's click on this link in order for you to pull up uh a sample another example of an algorithm and a flowchart here an algorithm it shows as I said it's a step-by-step -step procedure right so here I've got step one I need to uh, add two numbers and I have to show it in a flowchart so step one of course it's a start that is represented by by an oval and then the step two I need to read or write letter a which is the add -in. and then which is the the add-ins right and then i need to step three i need to write or read uh, another add-in and then and then step four i need to do the sum so sum for a plus b only sum a plus b all right and then i have to show the sum and then i need to do this step six which is to stop when i need to stop i should represent it with an oval symbol again so I'm going to show you the flowchart for this. Adding um, two equations, adding two equations, something like this. All right. So you have, you can 
start you can read and write add in one the add-ins and then you could uh, write again another add-in and then you could calculate the sum of a sum a and b then you could print the sum that is the solution to the problem then you have to click on it so that's basically it we need to do a, an algorithm we, we are always introducing we are always uh, doing an algorithm in everyday life but if you are to do the flow charting it's like in computer uh, everything is being done accordingly from an algorithm and it's represented by a flow chart so that's all for today and we will be practicing again another some sort of flow charting and algorithm next week so goodbye for now and make sure you do the task in socrative.com take care and have a nice day ahead goodbye